<laughs> These are Syrian children playing at a derelict chicken farm just outside of Tripoli. Now, this is actually where they live. There are four families in here. Uh, this chicken farm um, and they each have to pay $150 to live here because Syrian refugees in Lebanon can't live in formalized camps. The Lebanese authorities haven't got camps for them to stay in. They haven't set them up. So families like these just have to stay in places like this and you can see it's really, really very basic. So we're at a community centre in uh, Tripoli in northern Lebanon and these are Syrian refugee women. They've come here to spend time, socialise and as you can see, crochet Christmas decorations. Uh, they come here, many of them with their children who at this point are downstairs in the community centre playing games and singing songs. It's just a way for people to socialise, try and live normal lives because a lot of these women, the men, they can't work in Lebanon so they've got to find uh, a way to distract themselves. So we were amazed by this woman. She was a very elderly lady from Idlib in Syria uh, with other family members here at this banana plantation. It was incredible. These refugees had to live in this banana plantation and everyone here was from the same village inside Syria.